Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Edmund Midaros, and for today's quick tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve if direct 3D or direct draw acceleration is not available or working on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. Alright, so without further ado, and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to open up the search menu, and then dito I can have to type yung registry editor and then select mo lang dito yung run as administrator okay and now before you proceed in the registry i would suggest you to create a backup files so anything go wrong you could restore back in order to create a backup file so napaka simple lang naman all you have to do is select mo lang dito yung file and then select mo lang tong export so dito sa export registry file i select mo lang dito kung saan mo si save yung file and then ka naman na mag create ng file name so, dapat ay lagyan mo din ito ng date, yung uh, creation ng backup files, and then click mo ng to, save, right? Kapag needed mo na to, to import it back, all you have to do ay select mo ng tong file, and then select mo ng tong import, and then next ay navigate mo lang dito yung sa file location kung saan mo sinave yung uh, backup files, alright? So, proceed na tayo. And the next step, I can number lang select dito yung HK current user, okay? So dito sa HK current user, can number lang select dito yung software. So dito sa software, I can number lang select dito yung Microsoft, okay? So click mo lang tong Microsoft. So dito sa Microsoft, I can number lang select dito yung Avalon dot graphics, okay? So click mo lang siya. And then dito sa empty space, I can number lang mag right click. And then, select mo lang dito yung new. And then, select mo lang dito yung the word 32-bit value. Okay? So, dito sa kanyang new value, ay kailangan lang natin i-rename yan. Okay? So, rename natin ng disable HW acceleration. So, yan yung ilalagay natin. So, type lang natin ito. Disable. Yung H and W ay big letter po yan. And then, next, yung acceleration. So, yung E is a big letter. Nitro po din yan. Okay? So, kailan mo nang itype yung disable HW acceleration. So, disable HW, yung HW ay big letter yan. And then, yung E accelerations. And then, press mo nang yung enter. So, dito sa disable HE accelerations, yung na-create natin na new folder, ay kailan mo nang mag-double click. And then, nalabas itong kanyang edit the word 32 bit value. Okay, so kapag in-enter natin ang value of 0, ito siya, so 0, it will indicate that hardware accelerations is enabled siya. So kapag 0, naka-enabled yung hardware accelerations. At kapag dinilit natin at pinalitan natin niya ng number 1, so ibig sabihin that while disabled hardware accelerations, ito siya. Okay, so kapag number 1, ibig sabihin ay naka-disable yung hardware accelerations. Right? So, silik mo lang yung 0. And then next, click mo lang itong OK. And then, kailangan lang natin dito mag-exit. Uh, okay, so press lang natin to And then next, dito lang si start menu. I can lang mo lang mag-restart. If the problem is still persists, do this and other solutions. So, dito lang sa searching bar ng ating computer, I type mo lang dito yung Windows, Windows. Okay, and then click mo lang itong Open. And the next step, ay dito sa Windows features, ay kailangan lang natin iselect dito yung legal component. So, scroll lang tayo pa baba. And then, hanapin natin yung legal components. Okay, ito siya. So, dito sa legal components, check mo lang siya. Click mo lang itong plus sign. And then, kailangan mo lang i-click itong direct play. Alright, so click mo lang siya. And then, next, ay click mo lang itong okay. Okay, so Windows completed the request to Genius. So, ang next step ay plus lang natin yan. And then, kailangan lang natin mag-restart. So, click mo lang itong start menu and click mo lang itong restart. Alright, so ganun lang po kasimple kung paano natin i-fix ang direct 3D or direct draw accelerations is not available in Windows 11. Okay, so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.